The other positional aspect of this position is that bishop on d6 is basically a very important piece to try to create counterplay on the king's side. Very often um, black gets chances to attack white king, although with some uh, positional uh, concessions, whilst uh, white's bishop is actually pretty seriously blocked by this knight on e4. But generally the strategies remain the same. I mean, white tries the moves like c4, after uh, castling, then white tries the moves like knight c3, so just normal development trying to uh, basically show the uh, vulner vulnerability of the knight on e4. Basically the way it goes on is that white usually castles and black castles as well. And now there is a choice. Now white can attack the knight on e4 in many different ways. The most common way is uh, c4 trying to uh, put pressure on d5. And here, although the other moves have been tried as well, the normal move is c6. So basically, uh, if you bear in mind the main strategy, that is that white tries to attack the knight on e4, all white's attempts, they become easily understandable. They include the moves like rook e1, or queen c2, or knight c3 or c takes d5 so as you see all main theoretical moves one way or the other attack the knight on e4 so almost no other move would make any uh, sense strategically speaking for instance the move like c5 could maybe look attractive but so gaining space attacking the bishop and so on but from what we know, it basically releases the pressure on the pawn on d5 and thus makes the knight on e4 stronger. And thus is strategically wrong for white. 